ever wake up feeling like your eyes have just been through a hot and dry desert and they just don't want to open? Well, you might be part of that dry eye club. Stay tuned to find out how to ditch the desert and dive into the oasis of relief for your parched eyeballs. All right, fellow detective, it's time to investigate the mystery of dry eyes. You see, our eyes are like a mini aquarium, and when the water level dips, the fish, I mean our vision, starts to get a bit cranky. In a plot twist, our eyes rely on a sneaky trio of layers to stay slick. First, there's the mucus layer, the base coat that helps tears stick to the eye. Next, we splash on the water layer. This is the main moisture superstar keeping things hydrated. Now the plot thickens when we discover that the watery part of our tears isn't just H2O. Oh no, it's a cocktail of salt, proteins, and even some sneaky inflammatory agents. And finally, the oil layer. It's like the top coat of our tear film, keeping everything sealed and smooth. But when our personal eye cocktail is off balance, boom, dry eyes enter the scene, leading to all sorts of drama, from itchiness to the feeling of a personal sandstorm. Our suspects? Evaporative dry eye, where the oil layer is the culprit feeling the scene, and aqueous deficient dry eye, where the water layer isn't pulling its weight. This is the spectrum of dry eye disease. Don't worry, we're not letting these dry eyed bandits get away with it. Remember, tears are always present, not just when you cry. So stay tuned as we dive into the who did it, and how to fix it of dry eyes. If so far you've liked this video, hit that like and subscribe button. It's important for that algorithm to spread our vision knowledge. All right, folks, let's discuss what causes this dehydrated craziness. Multiple factors can cause your eyes to cry out. So let's discuss them. First off, the environment. The same elements that give us a great beach day and snowy selfies are also top-notch tier thieves. Sun, wind, smoke, and even your trusty air conditioner. They're all in on the heist, snatching away that precious moisture. Next up, lifestyle. Our beloved screens and binge-watching marathons demand an eye blink ransom we seldom pay. We forget to blink, and this causes our eyes to go haywire. Then remember, sleeping is key for a good health. Then of course, let's not forget dehydration. Oh, yeah. It's the single largest contributor to many of our conditions, including dry eye. Trekking deeper, we find health conditions. Our body's internal climate can stir up a storm with autoimmune conditions like Sjogren's, thyroid, or even allergies joining forces to zap the moisture. There are multiple causes, even diabetes and hypertension. Here, your doctor can help. And lastly, we have medications. Those helpful pills keeping other ailments at bay can have a side effect of drying out your ocular oasis. Antihistamines, decongestants, blood pressure medications, and even antidepressants. Turns out, they're secret moisture misers. Remember that superhero procedure that gave you crystal clear vision? Yeah, we're talking about LASIK. It can cause an exacerbation of your dry eye disease. So here, screening is key. So there you have it, a panoramic view of the dry eye landscape. Today, we're exploring the landscape of dry eye symptoms with the help of our insightful correspondents. Let's meet Aquas Al and Evaporative E. Guides to understanding this condition. So Al, you're first. Tell us about Aqueous deficient dry eye and its symptoms. Happy to spill the beans, or should I say tears? Aqueous deficient dry eye occurs when the lacrimal glands don't produce the watery component in tears. This leads to symptoms like a constant sandy feeling in the eyes and a persistent soreness or irritation due to the lack of adequate lubrication. Well, that doesn't sound like a party now, does it? So, Eve. How does evaporative dry eye differ? Evaporative dry eye is most often caused by meibomian gland dysfunction. Imagine your tears are like an audience at a really bad play. They can't wait to evaporate, I mean leave. This is due to an insufficient oil layer. 
Here, we get intermittent blurry vision and frequent watering as the eyes attempt to compensate for the dryness. I see. So the same windy or air-conditioned environments could exacerbate both conditions, but for different reasons? Precisely. It's like being at a party where the AC is cranked up too high, and neither your tears nor your guests want to stick around. And what's the story with tired eyes and light sensitivity? Those are common to both types. Tired eyes result from a strain of trying to maintain focus with an inconsistent tear flow. Sensitivity to light, on the other hand, can be due to the cornea being more exposed without its protective tear layer. Intriguing tales from the eye front. Thanks to both of you for bringing some clarity and some chuckles to our dry eye dialogue. So you've got the dry eye blues? Fear not. We've got a treasure trove of treatments that'll have your eyes sparkling again. Let's embark on the remedy roadmap. First up, lifestyle changes. First, remember, hydration, hydration, hydration. That's the first pillar. Then, smoke. Whether it's from campfires or cigarettes, it's a no-go. Just look at that sign. And for the screen addicts, practice that 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, gaze at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. And obviously remember to blink every couple of seconds. And let's not forget sleep. Equip yourself with a quality eye mask to shield your eyes from the drying effects of your heater or AC at night. And lastly, like for any ailments, diet and exercise. Without that, your body won't ever stay healthy. Moving on, we've got the over-the-counter special forces, artificial tears. They come in drops, gels, even ointments for those nighttime operations. Also, don't forget the omega-3 fatty acids. They can help not only with your eyes, but your entire body. For the home remedy enthusiasts, we've got warm compressors. They're like a cozy blanket for your meibomian glands, encouraging them to get that oil flowing. There are a few commercial available options as well that can help warm those glands. And don't underestimate the power of blinking exercises. Blink like you mean it to spread those precious tears evenly. Sometimes you need to bring out the big guns. Prescription medications like anti-inflammatory drops can tell those inflammatory agents to take a hike. Multiple options are available to help reduce that aching eye like steroids, cyclosporin, and tacrolimus. And for the grand finale, when all else fails, there's this surgical spotlight. Punctal plugs can block those tear ducts, keeping every pressure's drop on stage. And for the right candidate, laser treatments or steam therapy might just be the encore your eyes are waiting for. There's a spectrum of solutions from the simple to sci-fi, and the right choice is as personal as your fingerprint. Chat with your eye doc to script the best treatment plan for your peeper's performance. If you enjoyed this eye-opening journey through the world of dry eyes, show us some love, smash that like button, give the subscribe a click, and ring that bell to not miss a blink on our channel.